Hi everyone, it's Gina from Gina K Designs and welcome back to another 5-Minute Cards video. Today I'm going to show you a fun technique that you can do with your reinkers and an old makeup brush. To begin, I'm going to be using the You Give Me Butterflies stamp set from the You Give Me Butterflies bundle and I'm going to be using the coordinating stencil that also comes in the bundle. I'm going to put down all the flowers and I've chosen one of the greetings and I'm going to stamp these in black onyx ink. Now I am going to stamp these twice because I want it to be nice and dark. But you can stamp these in any color you want. I like the black onyx for this technique because I think the contrast between the black and the color from the reinkers is very striking. And now once I've stamped this twice, what I've done is I've just flipped the paper around and I've stamped it twice again on the other side. This way I have lots of flowers and I have a couple greetings and I can make more than one card. These images are just so happy and fun and I think that you can make so many different kinds of cards using them. So once I've stamped that twice, it's time to do the technique. Now I've secured my cardstock down onto a piece of scrap paper, and then I'm going to find the coordinating design that I want to use on the stencil for the flower, and I'm going to line that up. Once lined up, I'm going to tape that down with a little bit of washi tape. You can use pixie tape or purple tape, whatever you have. And then I'm going to use some reinkers. So the colors I'm using are wild lilac, turquoise sea, some lucky clover, and some passionate pink. And these are fun colors that work really well together for this technique. For the brush, I'm using an old makeup brush. Now this is like a fluffy eyeshadow brush that I bought at Walgreens and just didn't really like for makeup. You don't have to go out and buy something new. Just make sure your brush is kind of a fluffy brush. Then I'm using an acrylic block and I'm going to do a drop of three of the different colors here. I'm starting with a drop of turquoise sea. Then I'm going to put down a drop of wild lilac. And finally I'm going to put a drop of lucky clover. Now you can use any colors you want for this. My only suggestion is when you're doing one of the flowers that you use colors that are close to each other on the color wheel that coordinate well together so that if they mix, they won't make brown. So that's why for this flower, I'm starting with turquoise C. And then once I get all that turquoise C down, my second color is going to be green. I'm going to be using the Lucky Clover. Mixing blue and green together anywhere they overlap is going to make a blue-green, so it's not going to look bad but you wouldn't want to do yellow and purple together because anywhere that you put yellow over purple, you're going to get brown, unless you're looking for brown, and then that's totally fine. So for cleaning the brush, you can just rub it off on a paper towel, or you can use a little bit of water and just clean the brush that way. That'll get it completely clean, and just make sure it's nice and dried off before you go to the next color. So you see how I'm just rubbing all the water out. Now I'm going to go on to my next color. I'm going to use Lucky Clover, and again, I'm just dabbing that color in there and then dabbing a lot of it off on the acrylic block because I don't want it to be blotchy. And I'm just tapping into those petals. Now you can see I'm using a straight up and down motion. I'm not rubbing. I'm not painting. I'm just dabbing. And this technique kind of looks the way, <laughs> do you guys remember when we used to do sponge painting on walls to give it a cool color texture? It's the same kind of thing. So you don't want to rub, you just want to pat, just pounce straight up and down. And look at that beautiful texture. Oh, I really love that. And then I'm just going to clean the stencil here, and I'm going to line the next one up. And this one is going to be turquoise sea and wild lilac. I wanted to alternate colors. I wanted to have one that didn't have green in it, and then one that did have green in it, and kind of go back and forth between them on my finished card. So I'm doing each of these a little bit different. This one is turquoise sea. 
And then after I get all that turquoise sea on there, I'm going to switch over to the wild lilac. And again, pinks and blues work really well together because they make a purple. You can use um, blue and purple together because it'll just make more of a kind of a wisteria blue in between there. So just mix colors that are close to each other on the color wheel and you'll have great success with this technique. I always love finding new techniques to use products I already have in my collection. And this is a great one for those reinkers. So I'm starting this one with purple because purple was left on my brush. And then I added some passionate pink on top here, as you can see. And I ended up doing two of these small flowers. And I also did the one up at the top that isn't finished yet. So once I finished doing all of the flowers, I cut them all out with a die cutting machine. And then I cut out one of the panels from Master Layouts 13 in white and embossed it with the Swiss dot embossing folder and then mounted it onto a black panel. I thought that would make a nice accent down the side of this turquoise C card base. And then I have a double stitched and single stitched oval that I adhered together. And now that's going to go right in the middle of the card. And this is going to be a grounding panel so that I can do a curved floral design. And I have all my flowers here, and I'm just going to lay them out first before I tape them down. Make sure I like the layout. And as you can see, I did green, and then that purple, and then green, and then I'm putting the pink ones right in between. And then once I tacked all of those down with adhesive, I added my greeting here using some foam squares. To finish off this card, I had to use a little bling. So I used some Connect glue and some of the Gina K Designs metallic pearls in silver. And I put bigger and smaller ones on the flowers. And then I had three small ones left, and I just kind of wrapped those small ones around the greeting to kind of tie it all in together and add a little bit of bling into that white space. So there's my finished card. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's five minute card video and I hope you'll give this technique a try. Stay tuned to my channel for more five minute card videos and more Stampin' Chat Live videos too. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you again real soon.